Good morning. We are back in Ocala, Florida. I am at the Santos Bicycle Trail Trailhead. This has both a mountain bike trail and a paved cycling trail. The paved cycling trail, from what I hear, goes all the way from the eastern side of Ocala to the western side of Ocala, where our house is being built at Stone Creek. It's about a 15 mile trail to get to the end. And of course, then it'll be 15 miles back. We'll see what I can do today. I'm gonna to talk more about what we did during the months of February and beginnings of March as I head down this trail. So this Santos Trail is right at the junctions of Highway 441 and Southeast 80th Street on the eastern side of Ocala. As you can see, it's very wide, well paved, and obviously no motor vehicles. Most of what you see along about the Santos Trail deals with the mountain bike aspects. There is a great mountain bike trail there with obstacles built in. Again, you can see that on a lot of other videos. But not being a mountain biker, I was more interested in this paved trail. It's mostly flat, just a few rolls. And you see there's a mountain bike trail we just passed. It's mostly flat with just a few rolling hills, but nothing major. There's another mountain bike crossing. So it's very extensive in this area. So what have we been doing and why haven't I been posting? Well, for the why I haven't been posting is in February and March, I just didn't feel like sitting down and working on videos. I don't know why, but just wasn't into it. That's the beauty of retirement. I don't feel like doing something, so I don't do it. As for where we've been, well, in February, we spent most of them. In February, we spent the month in Destin at the Destin RV Beach Resort in Miramar Beach, Florida. The beach resort was small with a heated pool, but the problem with Destin was March is probably not the best time to go. Morning. In March, the temperatures probably hit 70 two or three days out of the month. In addition, it was cloudy, rainy, foggy for all but five days out of the month. So we had five days out of 30 with significant sunshine. We did go to the Destin Harbor Walk. to the Sandestin Town Center. And to the Seaside Beach area.
beaches are beautiful with that nice translucent green water and white sand beaches. But it was just too cold to get in. And again, it was rainy, overcast for most of the days we were in Dustin. From Destin, we headed to Hilton Head, to the Hilton Head Harbor RV Resort and Marina. Again, it was a nice RV park, right on the harbor. Good morning. About five miles outside of Hilton Head proper. Or the about five miles outside of the tourist area of Hilton Head. The first mile of that travel to Hilton Head was on a busy road with no shoulder, so I only went out and biked it one time. It wasn't very pleasant. But once you got past that mile, there were extensive bike trails all over the island. I'm just not a fan of Hilton Head because you can't see the beaches. All the beaches are obscured by houses. A lot of the waterfront is behind private gates for the resorts. So all in all, not my cup of tea. There's great golf in the area. I went out and played around. Janetta actually got in two rounds with her family members. And so now we're back in Ocala. On Monday, we went to the Stone Creek development and did all of our selections. Cabinetry, flooring, tile, countertops, etc. We have to go back on Friday to meet with the construction manager to go through all the details and how they'll keep us up to date on the progress of our build. Right now, the schedule has our house being staked out tomorrow to start building in the next couple weeks. Closing is tentatively scheduled for late June, early July. So our plan is to come back down for that period, take care of a few things with the house, such as getting internet going, maybe getting a refrigerator in, wash and dryer, that type of stuff after the close and then heading back north again for cooler weather. We don't really want to be in Florida probably until October. So we'll stay from October until the end of March and then hit the road again in search of cooler weather. You really get to avoid the roads on this trail. And we're out in the bright sunshine, too. We are staying at the Grand Oaks RV Resort. And if you don't know, Ocala is well known as the horse capital of the world. They run all of the circus through here. Show jumping, dressage, um, even what Janetta calls driving. I know nothing about it. But obviously this is right up Janetta's wheelhouse. <clears throat> the place we're staying, Grand Oaks Resort, is mostly an equestrian resort, but they do have about 40 to 50 RV sites, all full hookup, mostly pull-throughs, so it's a nice area. They have a restaurant and bar on site. And the restaurant has a great Sunday buffet. Sorry, Sunday brunch buffet. Which we are staying around for an extra day just so we can hit that again. It's only $13.95 a person. And you can actually combine that with a carriage ride and a barn tour, which Janetta did last Sunday. Where we fly on those things. Hey. 
And this is land bridge somewhere out here. Oh, there they are. Trail riding horseback riders. Morning. Good morning. morning. Go slow. Morning, Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Alright, we often see these bridges with vegetation. So this is a land bridge. I think this overlooks Highway 301. Well, you guys can like you guys can fly on those things. Yeah, we try. Don't tell anyone. Oh man, how how fast do you hit on the flats out there? Yeah, it all depends. On the flat, flat maybe. Last Saturday or uh, Saturday you hit 39. Wow. Down. Yeah. That was a slight grade down. down. Slight grade yeah, down. down. And that was a flat out sprint. Can't hold that. Yeah, yeah, but still, that's pretty cool. <laughs> So that's it from Ocala, Florida. We'll be back again at the end of June, probably beginning of July, to close on the house. And then we'll have some decisions to make about where to head from there until the summer lets up. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date in our journeys. And as always, safe travels.